It's like marriage. 32 years ago, Gwen and I um, got married. About 32 years ago and a half, I called Gwen up, who was my girlfriend at the time. I said, hey, let's go out to dinner tonight. And so um, she said, sure. So we, we, we went down into Manhattan. I was living in New York City at the time, went into Chinatown. We had this favorite little Chinese restaurant. It was, it was a hole-in-wall place called Hop Lee's. We were, you know, it was dirt cheap, but it was awesome, authentic. I mean, we were always almost, always the only, like, Caucasians there. And we'd go to her, and we'd get her, you know, I fed her well, and she's all happy. And I, so at the Hop Lee's, I say, hey, let's go down to Battery Park. It's a nice night. She goes, yeah, sure, you know. We go out, and I say, why don't we get a cab? Never got a cab. We never had the money. And I probably asked her, you got five bucks? No. <laughs> and, and, and you laugh, but I probably did. And, and, and we, we went down, and they dropped us off, and we walked to the Battery Park, and there it is. And on New York Bay right there in the Statue of Liberty. It was a beautiful night. We sat on this bench, me and her, and about seven other homeless men were there, you know, and <laughs> very romantic. And I, and I turned to her at one point and I said, will you marry me? And, you know, she said yes. And I, 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 I didn't ask her, would you go into the institution of marriage with me? Would you sign a contract right here? I was asking her to be with me, to follow me, to connect with me, to, to commit her life with our lives together. That's what I was calling her to, inviting her to. That's what Jesus invites us to when he says, follow me. But follow me includes total allegiance and focus. He is calling us, if we're to follow him, to deny ourselves, to die to our dreams, our, our, our agendas, our, our calendars, our comforts, to say that he's number one, that, that we'll take up our cross, that we're willing to, to die to whatever is us to follow him. He says this, for whoever wants to save their life, if you want to preserve your life like it is, and I'm guessing probably most of the lives aren't all that great. We understand we're hurt and we're missing. There's, there's an ache. There's a, there's a hole. If you want to save the life you have, he says, you'll lose it. But whoever loses their life, for me, he says, following me, willing to make me number one, will save it. He calls us to total allegiance. <laughs> allegiance to his will, allegiance to his commands, allegiance to his agenda, that he leads and we follow, regardless of what we hope or want. We totally trust him. Our focus is on following him above all else. It's not part-time. It's not on our terms. I mean, think about it, right? Think about this. I, I showed you that scene where, you know, Gwen, and I asked her to marry me, and she said yes. Now, can you imagine if she said, yes, I would love to marry you. And here's the deal, John. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, I'm totally yours. But the rest of the week, that's my time. And I'm going to do whatever I want, and you're on your own. And I might go here, there, with that person, this person. I don't. What would I say? Would I say yes to that? No, it's no kind of relationship. And Jesus said, no, you can't. Be, it's follow me all the way is what he calls us to. Remember that promise from God I read in the beginning? If you seek me, you will find me. If, when, you seek me with all your heart. It's, this high, it's a high cost to follow Jesus, but it's high reward. 